Hi. Uh, a lot of people ask me how I did my 3D photo on Facebook in the Fire and Ice Society group, and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to do that. Um, I've never done a tutorial, and I probably will never again, but this is going to be my attempt. Um, when I say create a depth map, this is what it's going to end up looking like. Um, you're going to color everything far away in a dark gray and everything close to you in a light gray. Um, it doesn't really matter specifically what shade of gray you use as long as closer to you is light, further away is dark. Um, so how I did that, I basically took the quick selection tool and this is going to be a really rough job because it takes it's pretty time consuming to get all the little bits and stuff. Um, and I make a new layer. And I just use the paint bucket tool for the things that are flat. Um, so I'm going to want that one pretty much completely in focus. Um, and then I go and select, do a quick select of just each, each element. I want to do that. I'm going to do it by itself. Of each element that you want, um, she's a little bit further away. So I used her. Oops. Oh, I did not select it. Make sure you're selecting on your background copy so it actually knows what it's going for. I did her in a little bit. And you can actually do these in separate layers. That actually might make it easier, but I'm lazy and only doing one layer. Now I'm going to have her a little bit darker because she's further away, but I don't want her completely dark. Um, and like I said, you see all these gaps and holes. When you go through and do it correctly and select correctly before you fill, they won't be there. You're going to want to be pretty careful with that. Um, I'm going to go back and select that color again. Now, what's the fun part is when you are working with the colors, like the ones that fade, because this right here, this line of flowers, it you know, see it gets further away from you. So instead of just the solid fill, you're going to want to uh, do a gradient. Um, but right here, I don't want the grass included in this particular gradient because it kind of goes off at a different angle. Um, you got to pay, pay attention to your angles. So what I did for all my stuff, I took the uh, things that I didn't want in there. And I just clip it right out with the lasso tool. Of course, I was a lot more careful with my selections. And I just go and use the gradient tool instead of the bucket tool. And just like earlier, go through and make sure you're, oops, you're using the colors that you chose. And you have that gradient. Depending on what you do, you might, one of these other gradients might work better for you. But for this, just the linear gradient works. And it's just straight across because that's closest. And that right there is going to be furthest away. So it's going to add that color like that. And you just keep going around and selecting and getting all the colors. And, of course, like this back here is going to be the darkest. And that is how I came up with this. Um, you can go through and paint on a little bit more. That's what I did in this area. I painted on a little bit more of the focus. Um, so the front would be really there and, and poppy and back there really gone. So after you do that, you make sure that you save the JPEG as the exact same name as the original picture, but you put underscore depth. Um, just but make sure it's exactly the same. Um, I'm not going to do that, but make sure that your crop is approximately five by eight because sometimes you'll have trouble. Um, with anything that's kind of longer. See, these are the other ones I've done. I actually had to crop this one a little shorter because it was a little tall and it did not 
want to create the 3D thing for some reason. But anyway, you take both pictures and upload them. And Facebook will do the creation all by itself. If my internet works properly. Sorry for the lag. I feel like Jeopardy. Do, 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 do. But anyway, once this, oh, there it goes, it's going to recognize that it is a picture and a depth picture, and it will automatically generate a preview of what's going on. Once it goes ahead and does that. And it'll give you just a little preview in this area to kind of let you see, you know, how well it works and everything. And that's it. That is the how you get the 3D thing. I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave it. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope it was helpful for you. Bye.